What's up guys, Main Man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always and welcome to a video where I'm gonna try and rank Tag 2 versus Tekken 7, what is the better game? Those of you who know me and follow my videos know that I speak highly of Tekken 7 and I do not speak highly of Tag 2. Uh, I'm gonna try and explain why here, but I'm gonna try of course and be as objective as possible, although this will obviously be based on my opinion and nothing else. And please do let me know your opinion in the comment section. It would be very interesting for me to read. If you back it up, if you just don't write, Tag 2 is the best, Tekken 7 suck my dick. You know, if you actually write your reasons, I would be very happy to see what you think. And this is due to a video King J made. I'm gonna link it below. Uh, great video where he talks about how he feels Tag 2 overall is a better game, even though the gameplay in Tekken 7 is better in his opinion. I was gonna do a direct response to that video, including parts of his video, but I don't know how, how he would feel about that, me doing a direct response. So I thought we could do it in this format. As you can see above me, graphics, sound, gameplay, story, content, online are the metrics I've, or factors, in my opinion, that are the most important. We're gonna break those down a little bit. Um, and then I'm gonna rank from one to 10 on all of these on each of these games and then we'll just count it and we'll see where we land. So first off, graphics. We're gonna judge Tag 2 first. And of course, we're gonna, we're gonna judge it in its era. You know, that was in P on PS3 in 2012. But the graphics, all it had to do was be competent because Tekken 6 was released in 570p, upscaled to 720 with no anti-aliasing. It, 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 oh, it looked like shit. You heard that epic choir? <laughs> Those are angels crying for the Tekken fans as they played <laughs> Tekken 6 for the first time. It looked so good in videos in 720p and then we got like pixel porridge. Uh, so ta all Tag 2 had to do was be in 720 and everyone would be happy. And it was. And character models were updated. Some of them were broken and not so good looking in Tekken 6. The so character models were good. But everything else, shading, lighting just lackluster if you ask me like everything just looks super bright there are no shadows almost the shading everything looks the same from skin to clothes um, no cool visual effects or anything um, but clean models uh, 60 fps 720p uh, I'm, if i'm just gonna shoot from the hip here i would say tag 2 overall uh, Maybe I'll put it at a uh, 6 out of 10 when it comes to graphics. I just cannot do more than that. Um, Tekken 7 graphics. Uh, well, looks really good, especially on PC. You know, PC and PS4, very different, but the game looks great. There's actually some shading. Uh, so even for the modern standards, it looks good, you know, and it runs in a very steady 60 FPS. Uh, there are some very neat po post-processing visual effects like uh, noise and um, color correction filters. A bit too much on many stages, but the game looks great. What drags down the score, I'm gonna put it at an 8. What drags down the score there is the lack of uh, reworking, uh, especially facial animations from older games. If you, I've mentioned this previously, but if you look at Tekken 4 and Tekken 5, you will see better facial animations in very old games compared to Tekken 7. Because they have ripped the animations from the old games, but they're not using the same facial rig. I used to work with 3D, but it basically means the tools they used to um, control the models previously, those tools didn't carry over to a new application. So all of the, the facial data and animation was lost and they didn't bother redoing it. So a lot of facial animation is really off, but overall the, ga the game looks great in Tekken 7. It's a real step up from Tag 2. And not only because it's next gen compared to Tag 2, it's, they really put in a lot of work and Unreal Engine is great. Uh, so that is my opinion on that, and now sound. Tag 2, oh, sounds like Tekken, all the effects, great. Music, 
I wanted to die. There are a couple of good tracks. I really like uh, Unknown's music, Fallen Garden. Uh, I can't do it, sorry, I'm not a beatbox maniac. But uh, that dubstep, oh, I really like it. But uh, I, I gotta say, well, uh, it sounds like Tekken, the effects are... There are no rec there's no recorded dialogue, well, uh, some of it, I think. Uh, for for some uh, there's no story dialogue because uh, there's no it's not a story game but uh, sound effects are there uh, but music is kind of terrible in my opinion uh, I'm gonna give it m m the music is terrible I can't forgive this game I hate the music and Tekken 6 had some good tracks Tekken 5 had amazing tracks it sounded like Tekken but I'm gonna have to judge this by its music oh god uh, no, I'll, I guess I'll put a 6. Well, I put a 6. No, I'll put a 5. 5 music. Uh, Tekken 7. A lot of shit songs, I'm sorry. There are many songs I don't like. It feels, again, like a lot of dubstep. But, on the other hand, a lot of the story songs are great. Like the one you're listening to now. This is Devil Kazia's theme. It's called The Hatred. It's good, come on, this is good. And we started with Destiny, which is another story soundtrack. It's really good. Kazumi's theme is really good. Uh, Devil Kazumi's theme is even better. Mishima Building is a good song. Arctic Snowfall, right? I love that track. There, there are a lot of shit songs in Tekken 7. Oh, the intro, uh, the, no, title menu, that theme is great. There are a lot of shit songs, but there are a lot of good songs in Tekken 7 that stand out and the sound you know in slow mos how epic isn't the sound when it slows down and the rage drive sound it so sounds like a fucking shock wave like boom oh that <laughs> and i did the comp the most unepic sound possible boom oh god i'm such a dork but you know what i'm talking about and the fact that uh, the music goes away during rage arts i'm sorry but the sound is pretty damn good in Tekken 7. Uh, so I, I hope I don't sound too biased. I really hope I'm explaining to you why I'm giving this game a better grade than I'm giving Tag 2 at the moment. So sound... It is dragged down by a lot of crap songs, but... The Rage Drive, Rage Art, Slow Mo, all of that is so hype that I'm, I'm gonna have to put on 8 here. Um, and now we're gonna go into gameplay, and this is a huge topic to cover, and I'm gonna do it as, I'm gonna generalize as much as I can, you know, talk about the bigger picture, because otherwise we will be sitting here for four hours, I kid you not. These are complicated games. Tag 2 is enormously complicated. I think it's the hardest Tekken game to date, because you have so many characters, and you have a harder Oki system to understand because, you know, you can reset people left and right. Whereas in Tekken 7, if you hit someone who's back rolling, they just slide away from you. Uh, but in Tag 2, you know, Oki, you can talk about that for an hour. The tag system, you can push a button to tag out. You can do a tag crash if you're lying down. Your, your partner comes uh, from the sky, you know, dives in. You have rage in the game. A lot of people don't know this, but depending on your team, uh, what characters you played, and if they, in the story, were friends or enemies, rage would trigger earlier or later, depending on how, how much these characters liked each other. If the characters liked each other a lot, the rage triggers super early. It's like... The game is so goddamn complicated, and the movement was stronger than in Tekken 7, so it was very launch-oriented. And of course you had the tag assault mechanic, you know, if you bound and hit the tag button, you get an extended, like, super combo, and this would give your opponent rage in the ret return. And of course, you know, you have to tag as much as possible in combos to remove a red bar. It's it's very complicated. In Tekken 7, it's simplified. But a lot of people make the mistake of saying, Oh, they cater to dumbasses and beginners and drooling mongoloids. 
No, the game is still, Tekken 7 is still insanely hard. The problem was with Tag 2 was that it was, it was too hard. No one mastered that game. No one ma will master Tekken 7 either. But, uh, uh, in the words of my brother, I stopped playing Tag 2 because one hop kick deals 140 damage. Basically, with Tag Assault. And with Rage, you died. Um... So, Tag 2, the gameplay was highly complicated, too complicated, but what really killed the game for me was that I've talked to you guys about Tekken 6 rewarding easy characters. Tag 2, all of the scrub characters, uh, sorry, I shouldn't call them scrub characters, but lab characters that rely on doing a lot of moves and a lot of stances and a lot of evasiveness. Ling... Lily, Bob, um, Law, um, oh, I mean, oh, sorry, I forget about them. Eddie, Eddie. All of these characters have a clone. Where was my double Kazuya? Where's my double Heiachi? No, oh, forget about it. All the really annoying characters, though, they have a clone. Oh, Kuma, of course, clone. All of the annoying matchups imaginable. You could pick two of those. Oh yeah, you think one Kuma is annoying. Here's two Kumas. But you, you have to learn to play, you have to play your Kazuya. But you don't get a second Kazuya. You have to learn another character. You have to learn Kazuya and Devil Jim. Or Kazuya and Brian. Such a joke. Always Tekken 6 and Tag 2 rewarding the easy characters. And of course, Eddie having back one four, arguably the most broken move in existence, certainly did not help the gameplay. Double capo was, I think, 25% of your matches online. Uh, great gameplay in Tag 2. Great. But way too complicated for its own good and rewarded easy characters too much. Uh, so Tag 2, but the gameplay is... You, you have to take into consideration how, how complicated and cool it was. Uh, but I'm gonna have to put it at an 8 due to the drawbacks. But the, the gameplay is, is good. It really is. Uh, but it, the problems I mentioned were very real. Tekken 7, a highly complicated game, has been made slightly easier to the point where it still is the most complicated fighter out there, but it's reasonable compared to Tag 2. And there are dumbass characters like Noctis and Katarina and Alisa to some extent. Uh, so that problem is still there. Noctis is too dumb, Katarina is too dumb. Um, but they've simplified it quite a bit. Uh, the Rage Drive and Rage Art adds a lot of hype, makes the game very interesting. Um, so, I find this game to be better. Oh. The balancing is better. There's nothing as dumb as back one for in this game. This game is better balanced than Tag 2. Um, and they've simplified it in the right areas. No, no one liked being able to, you know, continuously hit someone who was grounded. Uh, that, that deters beginners, and I don't like that. Um... So Tekken 7 gets a 9 here. It is better balanced. It's got less bullshit than Tag 2. Uh, and now we are at Story. And uh, this one is interesting because te Tag 2 is not a canon game. It has no story. Uh, so this one, Tekken 7 is going to win uh, pretty much no contest. Because while there are endings in this game, that goes into content. But you know what, Let, the, the endings do say something about the characters, so we can see them as story, because they build on the character, the characters. Sorry, I'm just gonna drink some coffee. So, tag two, um, the endings are kind of lackluster. They're really bad, actually. Some of them are funny, but overall, they're very bad. Uh, oh god, I'm sorry, I remember them all as, like, really bad. Uh, so, there's no official story, we only have endings. I'm sorry, but you know what? Compared to the character episodes, they're godlike. Uh, I'm gonna put a 5. 
Tekken 7 actually has a story. They've tried to do the Never Realm Studios thing with, uh, you know, you play different characters and you have a lot of cutscenes. Um, they removed the, you know, play one character, get an ending. I'm just gonna say immediately that if if this was judged solely by the character episodes, I think I would put a zero here. Character episodes, oh my fucking god, they are so bad. I, I played three of them and then I stopped. But the story mode with the Mishimas, especially, it's, it's quite bad. Kazuya is underwritten, he's destroyed as a character. But the Kazumi and Heihachi interaction, that is actually good, I would say. Heihachi versus Kazuya is, were, it's not as good as it should have been. The, the journalist narrator is pathetic. Um, but I'm gonna still put it above Tag 2 because it, it did more story-wise. Tag 2 had endings and to be honest they were kind of lackluster. Character episodes in Tekken 7 are worse, absolutely, but Tag 2 is still kind of shit, man. But here we had a, a proper story mode, but the story mode was lackluster. I'm putting a 6 here on Tekken 7. Uh, and now this one is important. Content. Tag 2. What is the content? You have, uh, I think you have the classic modes like team battle, survival. You have arcade battle with the ending. Um, you, have custom you have customization in both of these. Uh, but, of course, you had Fight Lab in Tag 2, that was some form of tutorial, but not very well made. So in Tag 2, we have, we're gonna have to deconstruct content, I think. We have the usual modes, Arcade and all of that. Uh, ah, shit, I'm not gonna write this down. We have the usual modes, Arcade with endings, Fight Lab, well, I mean, offline modes, you have online, that's it, right? That's it. And, uh, yeah, uh, I don't know. To me, it's not... It's not fantastic. Like, people say Tekken 7 has few modes, but... But you know what? Let's give Tag 2 a thumbs up for actually including Fight Lab. For at least doing something to explain the game. Uh, you know what, I have to write this down. Usual modes off line on line. Oh, you, you can almost not see that. Uh, whatever, I just wrote usual modes. Uh, and then, what stood out? Well, Fight Lab. Oh shit, content. We, we gotta rate customization. Customization... And this one wins here. Decals. I don't know if you remember, but you could take images, and you had a lot of images, and you could put like five of them on each character. And it did so much to make unique customizations. So Fight Lab and Decals really gives Tag 2 an edge here, I would say. Um, content. Content. Hmm. Okay, so Tag 2 gets a 7 here. So, uh, Tekken 7. We don't have decals. Customization is worse. We don't have Fight Lab. We have Offline and Online, but we don't have Team Battle. <laughs> That's gone for some reason. Character episodes are shit. We have a story. Uh, we have Tekken Bowling, which I've never played. I'm completely uninterested. Here, it's not looking good. Like, Tekken 7 doesn't have a lot, unfortunately, of Offline content. But... What it does have is a shitload of DLC support. And this one is a big one. How hype haven't you been about these characters for two years now? Season 1, Noctis, Geese, Eliza, right? 
And season two with Negan, Iron King, Marduk, Julia, Lei. Yeah, th this one is a big one. This one did not have DLC support. This one is a major player here when it comes to content. Uh, so to be honest, as bare bones as this game is, those DLCs to me are worth more than anything in Tag 2. I mean, getting to play Negan, seeing that hype trailer at EVO with everyone, including uh, movie journalists who usually only talk about series and movies, saying like, oh my god, Negan's coming to Tekken, you know, it's, it's just something else. So unfortunately, it's like, yeah, okay, you have decals, you have Fight Lab, and those are great things I wish Tekken 7 had. But the DLC support just weighs higher, and we, we might get a season 3. I'm sorry, but that hype and that lifespan is worth more. So you know what? And the DLCs are great, and the DLC stages. I'm gonna give this an 8. Um, and maybe I should have talked more about the stages as well when it came to content, but... Uh, Tekken 7, as King J said, Tekken 7 has two lava stages, the G-pad, helipad, night, day, who gives a fuck, it's the same stage. Tag 2 might have had better stages, but it, it's really on the, it's marginally better. Tag 2 does have the equals and fight lab, but to stress my opinion again, it still cannot compete with the fact that we have so strong DLC for for Tekken 7, and the DLC is hype. Uh, so lastly, we have online. Um, and online in Tag 2, I, I don't know if it's me, but I feel like the netcode was actually better in Tag 2 on PS3 compared to PS4. Tekken 7 PC is the best, but if you play, I don't know how many of you agree, but Honestly, I honestly believe this is the case. Tag 2, better netcode. If, if we're gonna talk consoles here. Consoles. Better netcode. Um, but again, online worked be works better in Tekken 7 because you, 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 you can rematch. You couldn't do that in Tag 2. The fact that you can rematch and deathmatch is better. In Tag 2, you fought one match and then you went back to warm-up space and you waited and you waited and you waited. And then you got another match and then, oh, warm-up space. So, Tekken 7, worse netcode, but the fact that you can rematch and the fact that we finally now see our rank bar progress points. Rematch Makes online just that much better uh, But this had arena. I kind of liked that you you were on uh, you were all in a forum basically uh, Could be like a uh, hundred players I think or 50 and you all had a little avatar and you could chat Everyone with each other and you could choose someone to play that was cool. So that's a plus But still this is better But you have to take into account PC version of Tekken 7, great netcode, um, but uh, on consoles, Tag 2 had better netcode uh, than Tekken 7, in my opinion. But again, like to be fair, rank bar points and especially the ability to rematch, it just Tekken 7 again wins. But you know, due to honestly, yeah, due to the net code, I'm actually I'm I'm gonna say that this one's a draw. Um, but here I, I'm actually gonna put both at a six. And why is that? Because both games fail to punish people who plug. Still, after all of the updates, Tekken Seven does not pu punish rage quitters at all big failure and you can save your rank in Tekken 7 by saving your save file so uh that's it 
So where did we, we end up? 11, 19, 24, uh, 31, 37 total for uh, tag two by a main man. Uh, 16, uh, 25, 31, 40, 46 for Tekken 7. Uh, I'm gonna double check this one. 16, 25, 31, 39. Oh, is it 45? God, am I, am I a dumbass? 16... Uh, 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 I can't count. <laughs> it is 45. So, uh, of course you can break it down a little bit more than that, but I thought I was pretty objective here. I wasn't too, too hard, too evil uh, on tag 2. Uh, yeah. Mm. Can can we even do some awesome math here? So te Tekken 7 is a 4.5 out of 5 and this is a 3.7 out of 5. Yeah! <laughs> that makes sense of course. Uh, so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some fun out of my opinion on this and if not just tell me to go fuck myself in the comment section as usual. Uh, but I'm still after you do that gonna wish you a lovely day and I hope everything is going well for you. Thank you.